Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Ron TV Eats, and today we have something special for you. But let's open this first. So this is a giant thank you from Ron TV for the 250 subscribers. So let's do this. Today we'll be making corned beef and potato hash. So in a large frying pan, you saute one whole onion along with the garlic. And then just saute them for 5 to 10 minutes before you add in the corned beef. You can use anything in a can guys. You can use corned beef in a can. You can buy some at the market. Up to you. So we're going to get all of the fat in the corned beef so that the flavor will not be... Let's say it adds a lot of flavor in the, in the mix. So the thing you're seeing is the moisture and the, the, the fat rendering. So I would recommend do the, doing this in low so that the potatoes will have some sort of liquid to soften up. But uh, so potatoes often soften up quickly, so up to you. Since we will be mashing them at the end, uh, I suggest you keep all of the moisture there. Okay, so just mix them together before you cover. And then open it just to add some seasoning. Add some pepper and add some salt. Then you're just going to mix it all together. You don't have to add water guys, the beef fat will soften up those potatoes real quickly. Okay, so we're going to cover for about 2 minutes while we raise the heat. Next is you're going to mash the potatoes once everything has become uh, soft and uh, there's no liquid anymore since the beef fat has already been absorbed by the potatoes. So you're going to mash them. It will be easy to mash. So you can just use a wooden spatula like what I'm doing here. To just... Uh, just keep sauteing so that there are no more moisture found in there. So this is what you're going to have. So scrape those up. And then you're going to place, uh, spread them evenly in the pan and then uh, dig four holes so that we can put our eggs inside. Then we're going to get our eggs so we're going to crack them on the on the holes we made into the uh, mash put in the potato hash and then that's the fourth one and then we're going to cover to let that simmer for about five minutes and then we will be greeted with this so it almost looks like a smiley so this is this is running eggs, so it formed a face already. So I'm sorry guys I couldn't get you the runny yolk eggs shot, but this is still a pretty tasty, it's easy to do and uh, if you're in a hurry you can do this as a breakfast meal. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys, I'll see you soon.